Hello, hello everybody. I hope you're all keeping well. So in this video, I want to test my new Tesla Model Y. We've only just got them here in the UK. And uh, in this video, I want to focus on just practicality. So I'm going to test what they're like for interior space and give some direct comparisons between the Y a Model S, a Model X, and I've got a Model 3 inside, and see exactly how they compare. So if you're thinking of changing from an X to a Y or 3 to a Y, you're going to see exact differences for interior space for occupants and storage and things like big boxes. And this big box here doesn't fit in that many cars. So I'm interested to see for the first time, does it fit in a Model Y? So stick around, we'll show you. Before I get started, you'll note this is a new car. It's barely over a week old and it's filthy dirty. So excuse that throughout this video. It's undergoing some intensive testing and there will be a full review video to follow on this once I've clicked it onto a thousand miles or so so that will follow in the meantime it's very dirty we've done family holidays to Devon and stuff like that so I have done some first world practicality testing of my own more of that in another video so stay subscribed okay so before we start putting things in and let's just show you what the cars are like unloaded in case you're not that familiar with these cars so uh, Tesla Model S been around the longest since 2014 in the UK a hatchback nice and practical parcel shelf that can be easily removed and the boot on this is really really big i've been camping in these and very practical very functional do you know recently i was just speaking to a chap who spends about 100 nights a year sleeping in his model s because it's cheaper than hotel rooms and very comfortable so plenty of room to lay out anyway this is a model s big wide boot take the parcel shelf out and there's a large storage area just underneath here as well. The seats fold down by splitting 60-40. You just pull a handle at the top of the seat here. And they go down pretty flat, but you are left with that kind of load lip there. So if you're going to sleep in it, you do tend to pad out this section. But it's plenty long enough to then stretch out through there, even if you're about six foot tall as I am. I don't know if this is going to be as dirty as the rest of it. Let's have a look at it. So the Model S also has a frunk space. And yes, it's quite dirty. This is a car that's used every day by people here. And in this particular example, this is an early car that's rear wheel drive the front space is pretty huge it goes right back back here because there's no motor in the front later cars look more like this dual motor cars don't have as much space because there's a motor between the front wheels but in fact all the newer model s's look like this because they've got the bigger heaper filter which the earlier cars didn't have but still a good usable space in here this is the boot of a model x now there's a few variants of the model x this particular one's a five seater it's big, it's vast, no parcel shelf, same as the Model Y. Anyway, under here, you've then got a big deep storage area. And if it's a five seater, you have an extra storage area under here as well, which is pretty deep and very useful. Let me do the seat fold. So you have to go around each side to fold the seats with the lever here. And then you've got a pretty big and open and very nearly flat floor space there so vastly practical and we know this does fit the box we'll show you that in a moment but there's one thing to consider here different seat options if you have a six seater model x that middle row of seats does not fold down there's just two post seats which do not fold down and so therefore you don't get that big through load area if you have a seven seater there's two versions of a seven seater the earlier seven seaters had post seats in the middle they do not fold down only the ones here if you have a later seven seater however they do all fold down just like this of course teslas have camping modes so you may want to sleep in the car this is me laying in the x and this would be pretty comfortable of course one of the unique things about the model x is the falcon wing doors and these are designed really so that you could be in a fairly tight parking space in a car park like this and you could still access for example a child in a baby seat right here and if you think the falcon wing doors don't open and close in narrow spaces they do just watch this in fact this could be even closer but imagine a car with normal doors and you have to open them kind of this wide and then try and reach in so these work really well unless you've got a really low ceiling, but that's pretty rare. This is what we mean by the post seats. So the six seaters have two seats here, two in the back, which fold flat into the floor. But these seats here don't fold. The best you can do is bring them forward to extend the boot space. But of course, then you can't have passengers. You want to see a narrow gap for a Model X door. Here we go. Model X next to Marvel Model X. I can't even stand here sideways. and I haven't even eaten today. So this does open. It's cautious and it stops for two reasons. There's a car here and there's a roof there but let me just override this never any doubt it's pretty impressive isn't it you can override it from in the car by the way just i probably should have sat in there it would have been a bit smoother but anyway there you go 
it opens. Oh, should I close it? It would be fine. Look. Well done, Model X. I just noticed for the first time with this car that it says bonnet, not frunk. But we're used to using frunk now. Anyway, front of a Model X is big, and this is apparently big enough to get some golf bats in as well, but this is a really big usable space in here. Excuse the state of this. <laughs> Looks like I've been off-roading. Okay, this is the Y. So, uh, nice big flat open floor area here. You do have storage under here, which is significant space. I've got some wellies in there. And then you've got two deep wells down each side. In the UK, we only get the five-seater Model Y, and so again, like the X, there's a bit of storage under that section of boot floor as well. One thing I really like here, they've done this. So your seats fold like that. And if you want to camp in it, well, I've never tried, let's have a look. Very nice. Big glass roof, loads of space, little pillow here, I'd be very comfortable. The Y also has a decent sized frunk. It's not as wide as the X, but it is deeper than a three. So there's still plenty of space to put loads of stuff in there. And I have slept in the Model 3 myself, so the seats don't quite go flat, but it's a smooth transitional area there. You can lay straight, it's a little bit tighter here, but you go a little bit of an angle, you can get a good night's sleep, and I have. My car says bonnet, that X says bonnet. This is called a frunk. This is a Model 3 frunk. Shallow, but yeah, a couple of shopping bags, dirty wellies, some charging cables, pretty good. So the Model X and the Model Y don't have parcel shelves, as standard at least, you can get them, but um, the Model S does. I think the reason they don't have them is because you'd often just take that out and probably leave that in the garage or in the loft or something like that. Especially if you've got tinted windows, you can't see in the back anyway. Okay, right, what I'm keen to try here is our big box challenge. So this big box, and we can put the measurements somewhere down here. I don't know off the top of my head. Now this doesn't fit in that many cars, but it does fit in a Model X. Easily in a Model X. As long as it's that five-seater or folding seven-seater, don't forget. There we go, no problem at all. Now, will it fit in the Model Y? Actually, before we do that, let's try the Model S. So I don't think we've even tried that before. Now, I'm keen to see here. The S is pretty practical. I've fitted loads of stuff, tabletops and all sorts of stuff in the Model S before, but see, they don't have that flat floor, so it's not looking too promising. Hmm. So it doesn't fit in a Model S, mainly because there's that lip onto the seats. So the big test, obviously it's not going to go in a Model 3, I'm not going to even try that. But the Model Y, come on Model Y. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, so I'm just touching the headline in there. It does, but I'm on the headlining. So, oh, now we're committed, it's in. <laughs> it does fit, albeit it had to kind of just brush the headline. So only just, you can see there, it's obviously not quite as tall as the Model X. I was kind of worried because the Model Y is more sloped here, whether it just wouldn't fit at all. Now this box does fit quite easily in a few other cars, which we'll show you here. No problem at all. Oh, oh hello. Hello. Oh. Right, we've got one here, let's try it. Seats are down. Oh, surely this is gonna fly in. This is our BMW i3. This is the big box. But will the box now fit? Genuinely don't know. And now will the tailgate close? Yes, so it fits in the Model X as long as you don't have passengers in the back. But then you wouldn't have passengers in the back of this anyway. So, okay, fits in a Model X, but not in these cars, which we'll show you here. Right there, isn't it? Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's a little bit tight. Hmm, so just limited a little bit by its height there. 
No, it's just restricted by that curve of the uh, roof line there. Anyway, now that low, low flat load area there, but no, just doesn't have the height. So, tell you what, it's not far off, is it? So I'm gonna call that a just about pass for the big box challenge. And I can see our i3 over there, and this box, as long as the lid isn't on it, does fit in a BMW i3. And I think without the lid, Ah, then it fits easily in the Y. How's that box so dirty? I don't want brushing dust off of this. Look at it. Anyway. Okay, should we try other boxes, but with the seats up to see how much you can fit in with the seats up. We'll see what we can find. Okay, now, sorry, I don't have a load of different hand luggage and suitcases to put in these cars and show you. I don't have them to hand. I'm not gonna go out and buy them for this, but I am gonna pretend I've just been to Ikea or somewhere like that. Other shops are available and I've got some awkward boxes to put in the back of my car. Now, before we do this, do check out other video. We've got some other boxes which we don't have anymore, unfortunately, but we did show that the Tesla Model 3 boot is actually quite large. It fits boxes that we can only also just about fit in the hatchback of a BMW i4. So the boot of the Model 3 is pretty big. Those boxes easily fitted in a Model S. But what I wanna try here are slightly bigger boxes. If you have one of these hatchbacks, how they compare the X and the Y to this S. So, uh, four awkward random sized boxes here. Uh, this is about the best I can do in the Model S and I can't close the tailgate like that. So this actually only fits these three boxes. Let's see how that compares on the Y. You have to go around the side to put the seats back up. How inconvenient is that? Now you do have an option on the Y to have the seats more vertical or reclined, you don't have that on the S, you do have that on the Model X. Anyway, I'll leave them in the more upright position, which is still comfortable. All right, so that's the box that was in that place in the Model S. These are these two really heavy boxes that were there. Well, would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, well. Would you look at that? Yeah, there's a few more blemishes on the car. The oh car, my gosh, just car, look at the it. The car is not perfect. Just look at it. They don't actually really fit in the same place, do they? Hmm, interesting, okay. Hmm. <laughs> what I probably could do is take bits of boot floor out, but now I could do that on that car as well. That's a good point. I could have done that on that car. That's interesting. That fitted in that quite easily with closing the tailgate. In here, let's try it with that. That's not going to close. So let's say also those three boxes, also a bit of space there. Do you know what? I'm not even sure that's going to... Oh, that does fit just about. That was interesting. I thought it would fly into there as uh, so they were easily in that car. Okay, Model X, should we do the same? I better put the seats up again. So that are, that's those three boxes in the X. And in fact, that only just fits in there. So surprising how deep the uh, S is. Let's try this extra box at the front, which the others couldn't fit in. Kind of sticks out, but I think that's gonna close. Let's try that. Yeah, so there you go. The X is the bigger car. I've got one more test. I do have a mountain bike. Let's see if we can get this in these cars. Okay, I'll fold the seats again, don't look. Front or back? Hmm. <laughs> Let's go this way around. Oh, this is going to be a great video. We're just watching me struggle with a mountain bike. Getting a mountain bike in a car and scratching cars and stuff. This is why we're using dirty cars, by the way. Ugh. That step in the boot really is a bit annoying, isn't it? And this is quite a large mountain bike, because it's for me. Don't... I want the... I can see the comments now. I need to use the mountain bike more, Richard. Yes, I know, I know. I can see the comments. Okay, well look. Mountain bike in a Model S. That was easy enough. Just that little lip in the floor being a bit annoying, but let me take this out and try it in the Y. Right. Yep. 
Ah, look at this. Thank you, seat straight down. What are you doing to your new model wire, Richard? That's all right. It's for the purposes of testing. It's not as wide, is it? Hey, come on. It doesn't fit. <laughs> well, every day is a school day, ladies and gentlemen. The mountain bike, just because this is a narrow opening, actually, uh, obviously I could take a wheel off, that would be far easier. No, it's in. If we just force it against my new car a bit more. Uh. <laughs> okay, I think I'd be taking the wheel off, really, to get this in this car. Let's try the X. No. Only if I go. No. Mm. No. I can't quite get it in enough to be able to close the tailgate against here because this is just narrower than the Model S. So surprisingly, the S is far easier at getting a mountain bike in of this size. Than the Y. I think it will fit if you try the way around. Do strong first. It's this width though, it's still got to go through that gap. Yeah, you can go an angle. I think it will go. Right, I'll hold that. Go on then. Straight how it's done. Don't make my car dirty, Gintz. It's too wide to fit in. Are you struggling there, Gims? Yeah, it's all good. I used to be a remover man, you know. See, I told you it's going to fit. Yeah, yeah, it's just straight in, mate. I think it could. You're taking the front wheel off, really, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> He's giving up. He's yeah, giving up. Fail. That's a fail. Okay, let's try the Model X. You know, I've just been for a 20 mile mountain bike ride, of course. I need a lighter mountain bike. Look at that. It also doesn't fit just because of the width. Again, you would have to take the front wheel off. Not exactly into the world, but it does go to show that the Model S, it's news to me, that extra width of the open there is the best if you want to put mountain bikes in the back. We're not really going to try it the Model 3. You can actually do it with the Model 3 if you take the front wheel off and then load it in like that. It actually does go, but Model S wins the bike challenge. This is going to be a new challenge, isn't it? The bike challenge. Brilliant. Should we get some people in the cars now? Yeah. All right. That's surprising. It is. You would think X would swallow everything, but... I thought that would fly in there. But even if you stand right here where I am, I'll show for the people. If you look to the S, you can yeah. see the width. Y is narrower, and X is narrower as well. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Look, this is the parcel shelf from the S. All right. Fits in there. <laughs> Fits in there easily. I don't know why I was even showing that. And uh, it would fit in there as well. Okay, let's try something else. It's just this opening space here is much wider, isn't it? Well, there we go. There we go. It is what it is. I think, by all respects, the Model X is the bigger car, but it's the Model S that has the wider boot opening and wins the mountain bike challenge. Right, let's go mountain biking. Ah. 
No, that's not actually. It's going to rain. No. Was my tyre flat? I only used this an hour ago. Wait. <laughs> oh, good one. My next test is that I've gone to a shop, I won't name any, and I've got my two children in the car and my wife, there's four of us, but we just bought a box this size. Okay guys, can we get in the Model S, X? Uh, pretend me and my wife are in the front. These are my kids, by the way. Uh, this is eight-year-old Igor, seven-year-old Matt. Okay guys, can you sit in that car? Because I've got to put this box in, so. No, no, I need the box there. That's the only way to get that box in, I think. So that leaves two seats. Okay, close the door. So, children, are you happy enough in the back seats here? Yep. How long a journey would you endure sitting like that? A while. Yeah. yeah. You're actually okay, aren't you? And do you know what, actually, as I was looking at this box just now, I sort of think that might fit in like that, because the X is pretty big. Uh, no, not quite. Okay, well, there we go. Let's jump in the Model S. Come on, kids, in you get, in you get. Okay, so again, we've only got the kind of 60, 40, is it 60, 40, 30, 70, probably? Anyway, 35, 36. So, you reckon? Yeah. It can't be 75, 36, can it? Can we add the maths up? It's 101. Anyway. <laughs> right, uh, guys, so you're in. I could get you home from the shops, I guess. How long would you sit in this car for? Not as long as the Yeah, yeah. hour? Yeah. That's okay. You're two tall chaps. Okay, come and try the Model Y then. Let's see if that's any better. There we go. I'm just going to get the box in. There you go. So the good thing about the Model Y is that the middle section of the seat folds down. 20, 40, 40, does that add up? Yeah, it's probably about right. Anyway, the middle section of the seat folds down and you're pretty comfortable, right? Yeah, I think it's even better than Model X. I think it might be, huh? Yeah. It's that middle section of the seat folding down. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got to allow that a Model X six-seater would have the middle seat missing. So that would be similar to this probably, wouldn't it? Probably be better because the seats are bigger. Yeah, in fact, the seats, would you say the seats in the Model X6 seat are better than this if there's just two of you in the back? Should we go and try it? Yeah. We should try it, shouldn't we? Let's go and do it, let's go and do it, come on then. Model Y party trick is that middle section of seat folds down there, leaving two full seats either side. Okay, we're in a six-seater Model X and it's myself and Eagle, very comfortable. It's easily got the most space actually, isn't it? It's really comfortable in here. And Matt is in the back you're comfortable as well. So you can get three in the back, in fact, and the box, and there's still room for more boxes and a big Labrador dog or something like that. So the Model X wins this one easily. Yeah. You can get three in the back. <laughs> three. The Model 3 with the box and part of the seats folded. How are you guys then? Cramped. It's yeah, we're just... They're in. You'd go home from the shop, but I don't think you'd do a long journey. But as expected, the Model 3 is the smallest car, so... Uh, yeah, more limited, as you'd imagine. Okay, pop the seat up and shuffle over. Okay, uh, that's us being silly, but the Model 3 is the smallest in the back, as you would imagine. And these are quite high up as well. Like, you know, I'm like this. It's a lift home from the pub type scenario, but I don't think you'd want to spend too long in here, would you? Nope. No, okay. Okay, we're in the same position in a Model S. And it sort of initially feels a bit kind of more comfortable for leg space, isn't it? It's okay here, our knees are still quite high. But what we've all just agreed on is actually, although the boot's wider on this, is we don't have the shoulder space, like literally hanging out the door here. And we are on this pillar here. So it's actually sort of feels narrower than the Model 3 somehow, but then we've got a bit more leg room. Um, we all agree? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So again, I wouldn't want to spend too long in here with three of us. I mean, I could do an hour. An hour, yeah. Yeah, but it's kind of more limited than I thought. This is obviously the Model X, which is much better than the 3 and the S, as you'd imagine. So we've got actually quite good leg room. Well, I have. I mean, you're okay for a bit. Yeah. Okay width and just much better headroom here. So this we could spend a bit of time in. It's pretty good. It's okay. Plus, what we can do is we can recline and sit. Whoa. Whoa. It actually goes back more than I thought. We can recline and carry along as passengers in comfort. It's not bad. First time getting three pillar in the Model Y, and how does it compare? Surprisingly good, actually. Like legroom, I mean, I can actually get my feet right under the seats here. And in fact, 
uh, the other day the dog was here and he actually walked under the seat and come out the front anyway this is not about that but you can actually have a small dog walk under the front seats with more than wine I bet no one's done that before groundbreaking news you heard it here first right um so one thing we noticed Igor you've got way more legroom in the middle actually even more than the Model X yeah yep. but what we do feel compared to the Model X is it is just narrower again which you'd expect it is narrower we've got better headroom in the middle because it doesn't have that beam down the middle but it is starting to encroach a little bit on the space here. So for me, this is now quite tight, whereas the Model X had loads of room. Um, so it's not bad. I could spend quite a bit of time in here. The seats do recline a bit, I think, but you have to go like this. So you've got a bit of recline, whereas the Model X was easier here for that. And it's just narrow on the shoulder space, but it's okay for a bit. I wouldn't want to go to the south of France like this, but I could be in the car for a while. Yep, a couple of hours. So most space, probably the X, for passengers, I'd rather be in that the most, then the Y, then the mm, S or 3. Kind of actually a closer call than I thought. Probably the S really, because you can move your legs around. And then the 3, but the 3 was a bit narrower. So there we go. That's passengers in the back. Me and my two kids here. They're just 8 years old. So. We don't get 7-seater Model Y in this country yet. I don't know if or when it's coming. I have tried a Model Y seven-seater when I was in America not so long ago. And if you think you want a seven-seat car, Model X all day long. It had two seats here, but we really didn't fit in there. We've got another video about that and we'll try and just add a little clip here. But although you, a seven-seat Model Y may be coming, it really is for small children only. If you need to get more than a couple of passengers in the back, it's the Model X all day long. So there we go, hope that helps. Model X is the biggest. More comfortable ride as well than this, by the way. Um, but yeah, seven seater, definitely that. What's, yeah, yeah, can, oh, can we fit the dog in the back? Excuse me, this will sound really weird. How friendly is your dog? Very. Would he sit in the back? We're filming the space in the back of these cars. Would he sit in the back of each car? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, can we? just need a bit of helping hand to get her in. Oh, bless her. Is that something you want to try or not try? We're filming the comparative light, that's why we've got all these boxes out. Oh, look at her, she's lovely. Um, should we, are you, are you filming? Yep. Will she jump in, do you reckon? Yeah, uh, come on. Let's, let's try it. If, if she doesn't Sash, want it, then obviously Sash, it doesn't. Sash, come uh, we've got a lovely dog called Sash, who we just hijacked as she walks past. <laughs> and uh, we've got to see what it's like getting the dog in the back, because my dog's just a tiny little thing, go anywhere. So this is, this is Sash in the back of a Model S. So you're all right in the back of there, aren't you? Oh, perfect model dog, excellent. So that's quite comfortable. And is this going to be harder to get a dog into because of the load lip height? Does that make a difference for a lovely lady like Sash here? Come down. Come yeah, on, need a help getting down. Got... <laughs> Bless her. Right. Oh, she's scared. Are you going to try and get down on your own? Oh, we better not get her into the other ones. But... Come on. Yay. Okay, should fit in there, I think, but uh, she does a bit reluctant, so let's not go towards animal cruelty because I get all yeah, sorts of comments on these videos. Trust me, she'll be fine. Oh, she, let's get her in then. Ambitious. Like oh, come on, Sash, up again. Hey, on it, up again. Come on, Sash, up again. Oh, she's heavy, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crikey. Okay, you're the first Labrador in this Model Y. You, there you go, you're in. So, because of the extra height here, do you think she'd be more comfortable in this car because this is a bit taller here? Yeah, um, the reason why I say yeah. She sits, if you've got a dog like mine, she'll sit and nose out at all the back passengers. Yeah. So if she's got a bit more height. Yeah, you're coming down, coming in. Oh, poor thing. Then she'll be happy as anything. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and we won't force her in the X, but the only thing with this one is this is higher up, so she'd probably struggle a bit more with that, wouldn't she? We've been right wrong today. Oh, bless her. You're going to be a star. Come up here, come on, Sasha, get up there. Up. Go on then, up we go. There we go. There we go. There's, you can smell some other dog there, can't you? <laughs> but that then, I guess as a dog as heavy as Sash and as she gets older, it's going to be just a bit more difficult because of the height of this, I guess. Yeah. Um, I, my old boy, who was a lab golden retriever cross, 13, yeah. a little ramp, and he was fine. So if okay. enough spice for a dog and a yeah. little hold-up ramp, be good to go. Okay, cool. That's an interesting test because my dog's this little hyperactive terrier spaniel thing, so it just gets into anything. So, thank you, Sash, you've been a star. <laughs> That's right. Now, come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, everybody, uh, I think we've done enough sort of practical tests for now. There'll always be somebody that wants me to do this and do that, and I'll happily try and do some more tests down the line in the future. And you'll see a full review of the Model Y coming up soon. 
it's had a pretty hard first couple of weeks of its life. So full review of my Model Y after a couple of hard weeks use coming up soon. Stay subscribed. See you soon. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, all that stuff. See you on the next one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our videos. If you like our content and want to see more, don't forget to not only subscribe, but also hit the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any new videos as they're uploaded. Plus, we're also on Instagram. Just look up R Simons or RSEV. Us, we're on Facebook and Twitter. So lots of news, stories, and things as we go on each one of those channels.